All right, guys, it's currently morning uh, of the day after, and uh, I want to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Look here. This is sort of the shallow end of this breeding place, and they like to hang out in the deep end after spawning, but look over here. Do you guys see all those little orange dots right there? Those are the eggs that I'm talking about. They actually fall through the grill or the grating. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put these guys back in their uh, uh, tank and I'm going to pipette out a lot of this poop here and we will just put some methylene blue. I would say with this one, it's about maybe two drops, one or two drops is perfectly fine. Mix it around my finger a little bit and everything will be perfect. I just put these sort of in a nice place. I change the water every now and then and in three or four days, four to five days actually, uh, these guys will hatch out and I will get little swimming fry. All right guys, so uh, I put these guys in another tank for a little, oh, look at that, Someone, they're going crazy. But uh, what happens is these guys are about five to six days old since they were laid and I've just been keeping them in pretty shallow water uh, that helps with aeration when there's no pump going. I can't have a pump now because it'll probably like agitate the eggs too much and kill them. Uh, you can see a lot of the broken egg shells down here. I'm about to do a water change. I felt that uh, it is time for a water change and oh look, look at those guys. They're just hanging out on the bottom swimming around. Uh, still developing. Some of them are still in the eggs, such as that middle one right there. And I'm going to take out one of these and I'm going to put them in the under the microscope for you guys to see in the, in the last part of this video. Uh, this is part three and and um, in the process of setting up the the part four uh, uh, grow out tank that I'm going to post after this video. And so I just wanted to show you guys exactly what they've been doing for the past couple days. And so, um, as you can see, they're zooming around. Some of them are stuck on the side of the tank here, and that's totally fine. There's one up front. I, I, I don't think I can focus on, oh, there he is. Oh, no, he went back. No. All right, I don't think, oh, there it is. So these guys are stuck on the side. That's totally fine. What I've been doing every day uh, is pipetting out a lot of the broken eggshells, but uh, it's starting to get a little bit tedious, so I'm just going to do a water change. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's any problem with fungus, so I have not put in any methylene blue once these guys have hatched out. And so all I do is about change about 50% of the water every day, and it doesn't seem like a problem. And so I'm going to move this up to give you guys sort of a top-down view. You can see there's still some in the eggs there. And these guys are starting to be very, very active. And so the last part of this video, I'm just going to uh, put one of these guys under the microscope and tell you, show you guys exactly what happens. And I think that part's really cool because a lot of times the fish uh, breeders don't get to see that. All right, so as you can see, this is a very uh, close to hatching out embryo. You can see that the yolk, which is the big sort of yellow blob circle in the middle, is contained by the rest of its body, and you can see a lot of blood flowing through. So that the whole stream is well vascularized fish blood. 
if you were to look at where that needle is pointing a little bit to the right of that, you're going to see a big red sort of thing that's moving up and down or an up and down. And that's actually the heart. So it's pumping the blood along the embryo. And we can also see the eye. We can really, really see the sort of the, so, uh, the muscles developing. You can see some melanocytes, which are sort of the skin pigment cells. And so this is actually what's happening right before they're about to hatch. And this is probably one of the coolest things, just following their progress along uh, from, from beginning, from fertilization to right before they're hatching. And I'm sorry for the shaky video. I'm holding this with my hands and speaking at the same time. And it's just very hard to keep things centered and sort of focused too. All right, so this concludes the end of this video. And I just really hope that you guys have learned something. And uh, if you are trying to breed these, best of luck to you. And if you like these videos, just like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll be sure to make more.